Hi, welcome to Westchester Food Safety. We are on standby like most of you in the restaurant industry, but we're gearing up to begin business again, which is serving and educating you. Westchester Food Safety is a leader in food safety, and we're located in Westchester County, New York. We serve the tri-state. However, no matter where you're from, this material is useful. It's universal. We're just offering some food safety tips, some simple guidelines to follow. A lot of us have questions. Um, to be honest, sa food safety hasn't changed all that much. The things we're going over, we should be doing all along. It's just now we have a virus that is extremely contagious and very dangerous, and we need to put extra emphasis on food safety. What is COVID-19 coronavirus? Coronavirus is a respiratory virus which spreads primarily through droplets generated when an infected person coughs or sneezes or through droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose. To protect yourself, clean your hands frequently with alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. That's always the best. Soap and water is always the best. Um, knowledge of COVID continues to grow, so the best way to stay on top and up to date with factual information is to visit cdc.org. The Center for Disease Control, the CDC, is the organization that will inspect an operation if they suspect a foodborne illness outbreak. So what is an outbreak as it relates to food? An outbreak is when two or more people get sick eating at the same place. So there's a lot of information going on on the internet about food and, and different things, different aspects of this coronavirus. The best way to get factual information is to visit www.cdc.org. Get factual information. The health department. Every county and state is different. As you can see, as each state has different safety measures that relate to COVID coronavirus, every state has a different aspect. It is important if you have any doubts or you are confused about something as it relates to your open or closed food establishment, call them for clarification. We always tell our customers, always call your health departments before you decide to make some big decisions. After all, the health department is supposed to be our friends. They want us to be successful and they're here for us. We usually pay them every year, so utilize them as your number one go-to people. Call the health department if you have any confusion or questions about your food establishment or their opening, closing. They're the ones that you need to contact. People with COVID are said to be more contagious when they're showing the common symptoms, fever, dry cough, and shortness of breath. However, this is not always the case. Many people will not show symptoms, and some people will only get mildly ill. Common symptoms would be fever, tiredness, dry cough. Some people will experience aches and pains, nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, and diarrhea. They may show symptoms that are common to like a common cold. On average, it takes five to six days from when someone is infected with the virus for symptoms to show. However, it can, it can take up to 14 days. People with mild symptoms who are otherwise healthy should isolate. Seek medical attention if you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. Back six feet from people when in public or in the food establishment with your customers. The best way to not get others sick is to stay in isolation. Obviously, we will be in contact with people, so what do we do? Prevention. Currently, there is no vaccine for COVID-19 coronavirus. What do you have to do? Washing hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains 60 to 95% alcohol when water and soap are not available. This is great for deliveries. Hand washing is always the best way. Hand washing is key. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth when in public. You must stay home if you're sick. Clean and disinfect objects and surfaces that have been touched, counters, doorknobs, toilets, phones, etc. Cover nose and mouth when coughing and sneezing with a tissue. Then immediately dispose of the tissue and wash hands for at least 20 seconds. Again, this is common sense. Keep back six feet. Protect yourself. Protect your customers. You know, now we're putting a lot of strong emphasis on us as employees, food handlers. Our safety is really important. Washing steps. Step one. So there's five. It's a five-step process. 
Wet hands and arms. Use running water as hot as can comfortably stand. They say we should wash up to exposed forearms. Apply soap. Apply a generous amount. Build a good lather. Scrub your hands and arms vigorously for 10 to 15 seconds. Clean your fingernails and fingernails really well. Rinse hands and arms thoroughly. Use warm water to rinse. Dry your hands and arms. Use a single-use paper towel or hand dryer. Very important. Obviously, we all have signs in a store. All employees must wash hands before returning back to work. It's a great idea to find or download information, a step on how people should wash their hands. So obviously, we need to train people regularly on this. It's a great reminder to have it right in front of the sink, the hand washing sink. Hand washing is key. Cleaning and sanitizing is very important as the coronavirus COVID-19 can live on the surface for a period of time. All different kinds of surfaces, as we know. Um, again, if you have any information you want to know about how long it lives, contact or look up the CDC and they'll give you all the information that you need. Um, so the first thing you need to do when you clean and sanitize a surface, rinse, scrape, or soak the surface. So get the chunky stuff off there. Then you're going to wash the surface with soap. Then you're going to rinse the surface with water. And then you're going to sanitize it. Keep your sanitizing cloth stored in sanitizing solutions at all times. As a result of COVID, we're going to have to clean this more frequently um, in between uses, actually. Um, and then the final step would be air drying. So rinse, scrape, wash, rinse, sanitize, and air dry. After you've cleaned your surface with the sanitizer, clean it and get a new batch. Generally, in the past, we would just leave it in the sanitizing solution. But as of now, we need to change the sanitizing solution very, very frequently. Particulate matter from coughs and sneezing can remain on a surface or human, so it is key that hand washing and social distancing be practiced always. This is the strongest emphasis that we're making here today. Different steps. How will food be delivered? How will the people delivering the food be protecting the food and themselves? How will the food be handed over to the customer and where? How will the customer area be clean and how often? What steps? Are you taking to ensure that there's a minimum of six feet distance? These are questions you have to ask yourself. Sure that masks must be worn at all times when serving or delivering food to customers. Offer continuous food safety briefings with your employees. Emphasize continuous hand washing and cleaning and sanitizing. Key, key, right? That's very important. Be open to feedback from customers. Win them over. Prove you're the best food source and make money. Food safety is everyone's business. Make it yours. A great way to stay on top of food safety practices is purchase a book from us. Our books are intended for our food safety manager exam, and this book has been proven to be a great guide for all food establishments. It's a quick and easy to read. Ships fast. So check us out online. 